everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Grassy Chaser. Over the weekend, I went to Heartlet Raceway, and I really want to thank the guys there so much. Um, they let me come in, do some interviews with some drivers, so as you're about to see tonight, and we spoke to a driver who's come all the way from the United States, so it's pretty cool. His name's Jesse. I did speak to him in the interviews you will see, and not only did we speak to him, he actually came through with the win in the North South 50, and he managed to win the $10,000 prize, so it was a great event. I really want to thank the club for having me out there. As you can see when we talk to the drivers, they absolutely loved the facilities, the track. It was really good in them. Um, I only went Saturday night, and on the on the last race Saturday night, they were actually racing too wide, and the outside line ended up being faster. So it was really cool to see. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the interviews. And it, it is April, so that means we're getting so much closer to racing at S&P, which I can't wait for. And as you can see, you know, we've got – but bigger sponsors this year. We're going to go out there and give it our best shot. And um, and remember, guys, if you want to help out, uh, you can like, share, and subscribe. And if you feel generous enough to donate some money, uh, you can follow it. You can have a look on the campaign page I've got up. Uh, obviously, we'll leave a link to that in the description. But also, if you donate, you will get a place on the car. So the minimum is two dollars fifty, and you know we just we ask any support. It really helps. And uh, yeah. Thank you, guys, and enjoy this episode of Grassy Tracer. It's Anson for Libby here. So today we're doing a bit with Heartland Raceway, and we're going to be interviewing some drivers for tonight's races. So today I'm here with Grant, I believe. Stuart. Oh, Stuart. Stuart. Oh, I just saw a name on the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuart, no, yeah. It's, it's a common mistake having a hyphenated name. So, But uh, no, I know, um, uh, if I had a dollar for every time someone uh, got me hyphenated name mixed up, I'd be probably racing something a bit more expensive. <laughs> Rightio. And uh, what have we got here? This is an AMP car, uh, AMP car National. Uh, they're control class, um, pretty much designed for, uh, to be parity for everyone. Like you run, everyone has the same motor, the motor's sealed, so you can't really adjust on it. Um, uh, basically the tire is the big rule. Uh, it's a hard tire. Um, and the size is, uh, one, uh, for everyone. So pretty much you just got to get up on the wheel and, 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 uh, make it happen. Yeah, cool. And have you been to Heartland Raceway much? Uh, the last couple of years, I've been here probably about three times a season for the last three years, and uh, yeah, lucky enough to have a nice facility like this that'll have us. Yeah, and uh, what's your sort of favourite thing about the circuit itself? Uh, it's a high speed circuit, um, so you know if you, it's, it's one of those tracks that if you drive well, it kind of rewards you. Yeah. Um, the, the the track conditions can change very quickly here. Um, uh, well, you know, like you know, like today with the heat and that, yeah. the track does its best to keep it moisture, keep it racy, but um. You know, you can have uh, another group of heats from other guys go out there and all of a sudden there's a new line or uh, the track's widened out and, you you, you know, you, you need to be ready for that. Yeah. And how do these things sort of deal with the heat? Do they do all right? Or? Yeah, it's some better than others. Um, like some guys, we, the one difference probably in this class a little is you can choose your fuel. So you can use like your, your normal unleaded fuel from the, 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 the petrol station. Uh, I use an E85 which is kind of a, like a more of a performance fuel, yeah. but you can still buy it over the, at the servos at some. Uh, and then some guys uh, use methanol. So generally the guys who run methanol, they cope for the heat a bit better. Uh, the fuel helps cool the motor a little. Yeah. Um, my B85 is kind of in between. And petrol guys, they, they really um, they make sure their cooling system works well. Uh, just the, 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 their motors tend to run a little bit hotter. Yeah, cool. And, um, you know, for tonight's races, uh, hopefully it does cool down a little bit so we don't see yeah. too many, uh, problems. Cause look, I think we've got a, we've got a good field. Yeah. Yeah. We've got, we've got, um, we've got a really good guy come down from New South Wales, uh, in, in Shane Cartwright in the 11. Um, and this, this is, this is the, the best of Victoria. And it's probably the best, um, the class has been for a couple of years now, uh, just in the quality of cars and the quality of drivers and, you know, tonight, tonight though, we've been lucky enough, Heartland's going to give us three uh, three qualifying heats and a final. And, you know, that's all you can ask for, Ben Rice. You just want to do laps. Yeah. And um, sort of the facility here, how do you see compared to other speedway tracks? Do you like the paddock more? Uh, is there, what's your sort of favourite thing about the whole? Oh, look, it, 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 we're, we're lucky here. You've got lovely big pits. Um, you know, ha having the, the, the sort of the, the cut grass service, that, 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 that's pretty good to work on some places we go to. And, um you know, it, it's a volunteer sport, so you can't expect bitumen bitch and garages and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But um, it's nice to got nice big pits here. Um, some of the pits we go to, they'll have a lot of cars racing, and like you, you squeezed in, and that that's really tough. Yeah. But, but apart from that, you know, this 
this this this was well thought out this, this facility and um yeah it makes it makes it a uh, pleasure to come race yeah awesome and uh is there any sponsors you'd like to thank for getting you here tonight yeah sure um well the guys i work for cmb drainage uh we cover all your drainage needs uh, I'd like to thank MRL Contracting. Uh, they're there for uh, road repairs. And uh, Eugene Charvet Signs, he's the man who made the car look a lot better than it used to be. So, um, and, and of course, um, you know, all, all our uh, series sponsors and that, Speedway Media. Uh, we've got, who else? Uh, we've got, uh, okay, we've got any more stickers on the car, but anyway, <laughs> I, I, I'd like to thank anyone who does support the class because, um, as I say, we, we, we all, I'm no different than any other guy out there. I've got to work on it myself and everyone spends what they got. Yeah. Um, but you know, sometimes someone helps you get a bit of content on the internet, uh, and a bit of positive feedback, um, goes a long way. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much to you for the chat. Appreciate Cheers. it. Have a good night of racing and, uh, hope to see you up the front. Yeah. Hope so. Hope so. Uh, I always said I'd rather be lucky than good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Have a thank good you. one. See ya. G'day guys, so today we're here with Dean, uh, doing some more interviews tonight, and uh, what have we got here? Uh, Amco, um, so it's, yeah, we built a brand new to start of the year, so, um, yeah, it's a bit of a hot rod, love it, it's good, so. Yeah, and um, you've been to Heartland Raceway much before? How we race, I've been here lots with Streety, I used to race Streety's back in the day as well, and, um, yeah, been here, we just had a national title here, so, um, did pretty well there, just, um, through the heats anyway, I did pretty well. Got off the front row and side of them, but they just didn't uh, quite capitalise on that. But, but no, it was good. Yeah, love it here, love it at Heartland. And we always come back up here. Yeah, and uh, what's your favourite thing about the track itself? Just room. There's heaps of room, heaps of passing. If there's plenty of lines to run on, it's definitely um, definitely capitalise on on um, on moving through anyway. Yeah. What do you think about tonight? Does the track look good? Do you think there'll be much passing? I hope so. I hope so. Generally, around the super sedans, they, they, they can get up and about. So hopefully it does go two lanes and there's plenty of out bottom and top and then we can put on a show for the, for the crowd. Yeah. And, uh, what do you sort of think of the facilities here at Heartland, Heartland Raceway? Uh, it's, it's, it's a fantastic facility. Um, love it. My family, all my family and friends come here for the, to watch on the hill and, um, yeah, just now we love it. We love it. Love it first. And uh, is there any sort of sponsors on the car you'd like to thank for getting here? Yeah, tonight? absolutely. Um, Hesitant Haulage, the main one. JC Roofing, the main one. Um, got to thank the bloke in there. One of my sponsors sitting in the trailer. Herc Valley, Staffordshire, Pard Dogs. Um, SNS Tycoon, Wolf Shocks, MRL, KB Diesels, Holland on Raceway. Um, Andy FX makes it look, keeps it looking, looking mint. So, um, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I want to thank the boys. Brody and Mr. Brett for giving me a chop most most weekends, so got to thank them for sure. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, she looks good. Lots of different cars here, Absolutely. so yeah, you want to be easy to spot. So the green, yeah, nah, the other green stands out. Everyone says green is a bad uh, bad luck on race cars, but I beg to differ. Yeah, been alright. So yeah, well, as soon as I heard that, I wrapped my car blue. Yeah, so no, <laughs> uh, more green the better. I say. Yeah, no, well. she's good. It's good. All right. Well, thank you for tonight. Uh, I appreciate the interview no, no and I wish you the best of luck in the race. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm here with Paul Howard. So, Paul, <coughs> this is your amp car. Certainly is, yeah. And, um, let's, uh, get straight into it. You got Bingo on there from Bluey. So, my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo and, uh, Bluey's on the other side. So All it's right. a hit with the kids. So that's the whole idea. So yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And, um, number 29 is, uh, 23. Oh, 23. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Uh, is she looking quick tonight, or what do you think? Oh, I hope so, mate. It's probably not the car, it's probably the driver, but yeah, we'll see how we go. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, have you been to Heartland Raceway many times? Uh, I've been in the car for five years, so I reckon I've come here three or four times now. Uh, I've just said, well, we ran our Australian title here a fortnight ago. So, and then obviously back here this weekend. Yeah, it's still a so yeah. Uh, good. And uh, what do you sort of think of the facilities here? Do you like them? Yeah, they're good. They're good compared to some tracks, they're very good, you know. But it's all they got showers and everything for us, so yeah. for the camp stuff, so yeah, it's really <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, trying not to get busted out. Yeah, true. Um, what do you think of the track? Do you like the track here? Yeah, lots of people say it's very wide, it's good for I, racing. I like wide tracks, it's good for racing, uh, and obviously, depending on the weather and stuff like that on the surface, but uh, most of the time, it's really good to race on. So, yeah, you more of a qualifier or a racer? <laughs> Probably neither. <laughs> uh, we don't qualify in any car, so oh, right. Um, so we just do usually do three heats and finals. 
and um, usually with the Ankar, it's um, top point scorer to the to the rear and rolls to to the front. But we're not doing that tonight. We're just doing um, Brindles. How do you decide the grit? Uh, Huey's got uh, nuts that he's stamped numbers on, and we just pull the numbers out of the, the container. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that gives everyone sort of an opportunity to have a crack. Yes, yeah, yeah. And it's reverse grid. So first heat, then reverse to second heat. And usually, like I said, third heat, it's usually quite high to the back and the last to the front. Yeah, cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and uh, we've seen a couple of different cars. We saw a green one. We saw, um, oh, we saw, uh, which one was this? The other one? The other one was white, I think. Yeah. This is a blue one. Yeah. So there's a lot of different colours. I bought it like that, mate. So oh, right. and it's too much effort to yeah, strip right. it and repaint it. So yeah. do you like the blue though? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind it. I was thinking about doing flurry yellow, but um, probably too much work and yeah, too much of So yeah. yeah. And uh, you got a couple of stickers on these cars. Anyone you'd like to to get you tonight? Yeah. Uh, firstly, uh, Jim's testing tag by Safety Sunshine. Uh, JC Creek. Um, who else we've got here? Cow One Springs Autobahn, Highline Raceway. Uh, P Access Locksmiths, uh, Cosmic Developments, uh, JSR, um, Water Electrics, and, uh, something uh, electrical. So, yeah. Well, thanks for the interview. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, uh, um, tonight I'm here with Shane. So doing a bit of pre-race interviews. Have you raced at Heartland much before? Uh, we raced here probably three, to, uh, twice now we raced it. Yeah. Raced, uh, the Northwest 50 last time and the Australian title. Cool. And uh, what car are you in tonight? Uh, in the amp car. Uh, we're in South Coast Security, Trick Group, amp car, number 11. 11. From New South Wales, only one from New South Wales. Oh, all right. With all these Victorians here. So, uh, is he that one that threw you over here? Yeah, yeah, I know. They've isolated me. Stuck you over here. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Yeah. Are you going to go out there tonight and show them up? Or? Well, we're going to try. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we can. And uh, uh, sort of... What do you like about the track out there? Um, lots of people say it's wide, so it's good for good racing. What do you think of the track? Uh, yeah, it's nice and wide. It's nice and big. It's long. It's, yeah, it's good. It's fast. So, yeah, I like the track. How much bigger would you say this track is compared to some of the other ones you do up in New South Wales? Uh, it's definitely bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably about 50 metres longer. Yeah. Be honest, do you like a shorter track or a longer track? I like a fast bank track. Fair enough. I haven't, I haven't driven here because I'm not a speedway driver. I'm a circuit racer, but what do you think in, of the, the bank? Is it, has it got a good bank to it or not really? Oh, I like more banking. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty flat, but it's, it's good track though. It's, it's good. That's good. Yeah. And, um, obviously you did a little shout out to your sponsors. Is there any more you want to do or? Uh, just like to thank Trick Group, John and Luke Coyne, and like to thank South Coast Security, Jeff and Deb Gibbs. Um, also to thank Rob. Yeah, the mechanic. <laughs> also, my wife always got to forget. Mention her. Yeah. <laughs> Still beyond me. Got to get the permission slip signed. Yeah. And um, also, Dave Board from the Lions Braves. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Shane, for the interview. Appreciate it. And uh, show these big boys how you do it. Will do. Thanks for that. All right. Thank you. See ya. Guys, uh, today I'm here with Jack Murphy. So, Jack, can you tell us a little bit about what you're racing tonight? Um, so, this is my FGX uh, production sedan. Um, Pretty much the old man he's put all the work into this. We travel everywhere in the country trying to try and chase these big events. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And um have you been a Heartland much before? Or? Yeah, so I raced a junior here a couple of years ago, back when we had the Lancer and um we had pretty good success in that. So come back down for another go on a potty. And uh what do you like about the track? Um, just how like wide you can race on it how it goes uh, slick and um yeah it's good to come in yeah and um is there any guys on the car you'd like to thank for getting you here tonight um yeah big thanks to uh, bong clad facades they've been big uh sponsor this year john murphy Payton, billabong jerky base graphics uh fox shocks um but my old man he's put all the work into this so big thanks to him so uh, you're just a driver? Yeah, just a driver. <laughs> Fair enough. And um, how do you see your chances tonight? Do you think you'll do all right? I'm um, hoping for a result tonight. We've had a pretty ordinary season this season, so hopefully get some sort of result tonight and hopefully this weekend. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for the interview, Jack, and I uh, wish you the best of luck for tonight. Thank We're you. We're here with Rick. Is it? Rick. Yeah. So just um, what do you got tonight? Uh, just a rocket super. Yeah. And... uh. 
Have you been a Heartland Raceway before? What do you think of the track? Yeah, I've been here a couple of times. Um, yeah, it's good. I love it. Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite thing about the track? How big it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, no, it's good. And are you from Vic, New South Wales? From Ballarat. Yeah, Ballarat, yeah. Victoria. Yeah. So, um, obviously, it's a little bit of a journey to get out here. What's it? A couple of hours? Yeah, it takes about three hours for us to get here. So, yeah. yeah. We come up last night and stayed here the night. And Stay here for another two nights. Are you in the class that's got the ten thousand dollar prize? Yeah. 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 How do you see your chances of winning that? <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Probably be around the back somewhere. But uh, you're in it to win it, aren't you? So. Oh, everybody's in it to win it, but just what you can do, you can do. That's it. Yeah. So. How long have you been it. racing for? Uh, supers. I've only been racing twelve months. Before that, I raced for about. I don't know, 14, 15 years yeah. in, in other classes, yeah. So did you build this yourself? No, I bought this, yeah, as, as a roller, as a goer, yeah. And uh, is there any sponsors you'd like to thank for getting here tonight? Um, ESS, they've done a great job for me. Um, Atkins Family Racing, that's about it. Alright, yeah. well thank you so much for the interview, appreciate right. it. No Have worries. Have a good night of racing. Oh, good. No worries, thank you. Alright, thank you. Good on you, mate. All the best. Is it you driving that yeah, one? Yeah, the Moon's Earthworks uh, N47. Yeah. So, yeah, should be good night here. Yeah, cool. And uh, how long have you been racing? Is it the, what are these? Super sedans, Super yeah. Sedans, yep. Yeah, uh, about five years. And, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty good so far. And had a lot of good runs. And, yeah, we're down here about three weeks ago. And we ran second in the Mother Victorian Series here. So, hopefully one spot better this weekend. Yeah. And, um... So you said you were here last weekend. Have you done much racing here at Highland before? Yeah, we've been here. We've ran every one of these. So we'll fifth here last year for this one uh, on the podium. So yeah, like I said a couple more spots better would be would be good. Yeah, yeah. we'll fourth last weekend in the SA title at uh, Murray Bridge. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. you do a bit of travelling? Yeah, we definitely do a bit of travelling. We're based out of Bega in New South Wales. Oh, so yeah. yeah, so yeah, don't mind a travel here or there. Yeah, so you got some big blokes to come up against tonight? Yeah, there's a good field here and it's going to put on some great race. And there's, yeah, not many slow cars here and it's a quality field, that's for sure. Yeah. And um, you got the two teammates going? Yeah, yeah, we've got uh, Brock Atkins in this car from uh, Elite Shock Service. So he's um, he'll be one to watch too. So hopefully out of two cars, we can have at least one or hopefully both up there. Cool. And uh, is there any sponsors you'd like to thank for your yeah, video? Yeah, I can't thank Brock Atkins enough from... From Elite Shock Services, Moons Earthworks, Mum and Dad, um, yeah, Alan Barnes, Barnes Drilling, uh, Bob McCosker, everyone that helps us get us up and down the road here. Um, my wife and two kids for letting us do this, and yeah, ready for a good night. Cool. Thank you so much, and uh, have a good night of racing. Yeah, thank you. Everyone, hello to everyone back there, and yeah, cheers. Yeah, and uh, hoping to win the $10,000 prize. Yeah, that will be good, and there'll be a few beers drank that night, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, guys, I'm here with Steve, uh, racing Super Sedans tonight. Um, tell us a little bit about you yourself. No, we're just a, we're just a small team at Tassie, and we, we like to come over here to the mainland and race here at Moama and run all the other good tracks around the, around the country and see how we go. So have you done much racing here at Highland before, or is this your first time? Uh, this is our... Third, probably our fourth time here now, so we, we ran here a couple of years ago. Yeah, um, we've done the Australian title and, and, and another more so yeah. meeting with the so, no, It's a good complex and we like to come here, so we try and get here when we can. And uh, what's your favourite thing about the track? I'll try and wrap that up quickly for you. Oh, look, just, it's just the people are great um, and the track's just so so wide and, and it's just, you know, it gives us good racing. Cool. Is there any sponsors you'd like to thank for getting yeah, here tonight? Yeah, just like thank, um, you know, Tadsdale, um, Tasmania, uh, Motion Australia, AHR, Ching Fa, Australian Racing Products, um, Rock Chassis, um, and anyone else who I've missed as well, thank you. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can shop some of the Victorians tonight. Yeah, you know, we'll give them a shot. Yeah, take home that ten thousand dollar prize. That'd be pretty good. Oh, uh, it'd be great. Um, yeah, so it'd be it'd be good. We're heading off to Queensland after here, so um, that'd be good to make some money with us. Cool. Thank you, Steve, and you better get the driver's briefing. No worries. Hey guys, I'm here with Jesse, um, and I believe this is your first time here at Heartland Raceway in Australia? Uh, first time in Australia, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. And um, you know, you're driving a right end drive car, which um, wouldn't be too normal for you, I would say? Not at all, whether it's a street car or a race car, yeah, not. Uh, 
not at all. <laughs> and um, how did you find your first time out on the track? Do you like the track and the facilities? Oh, great facility. Uh, track was pretty good. Uh, I just need to be a little better, so I'm going to keep working on it and try to get better. Nah, fair enough. You should have heard when you were doing the parade lap, they played the American Anthem for you. Yeah, that's very nice of them to do that. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. So, um, hope you have a good time here in Australia. How long are you here for? Uh, go home April 3rd. Yeah, cool. Enjoy your time here and enjoy your race tonight. Thank you.